The shaded figure is called the Loon of Hippocrates. It's a geometric puzzle which I got from Michael Penn and he in turn got it from a dead mathematician with a beard. Uh, the, the object is to show that that crescent shape, that the shaded crescent shape, has the same area as that triangle which hangs below it. So let's go. The triangle is a right triangle and its legs are the same size. Now the crescent, the, the loon, it's made up of two portions of circular arcs. Uh, the, the upper one, the large one, it's a semicircle where the diameter is the hypotenuse of that triangle. And then you've got the smaller arch. You can see that's a quarter of a circle. Uh, the wedge is made up of that small curve and then the two legs of the, of the triangle. So half circle, quarter circle. Now we're going to construct this diagram with a compass and straight edge geogebra. Begin with a point, which we'll call C, draw a circle around that point. We draw a straight line through C, so that line is going through the diameter of the circle. The next thing is to create a vertical line, uh, which is perpendicular to the first line that we drew. GeoGebra has got a perpendicular line feature. Uh, you'll see in the background, I a bit of a purist here um, today anyway. I use circles in order to do this from first principles. We've got a circle and a cross in the middle which divides the circle into quarters. And where that those lines intersect the circle, those points we can connect together to form a square that's tilted a bit. Finally we draw another circle through point E on that diagram through a and B. Its radius is two of the sides of that square. And now we've got the Loon of Hippocrates diagram along with, along with some scaffolding. Let's focus on these curved bits which flank the legs and the hypotenuse of that right triangle. Now we're used to Pythagoras where if we have a right triangle and we have squares on the legs, their sum total area will be the same as the area of the square on the hypotenuse. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay? But what you may not know is that this works for any three geometrically similar, by that I mean like scaled up or down, but they're the same, geometrically similar figures attached to the legs and hypotenuse of a right triangle. Those two lower saggy curved bits, they have the same area together as the, as the upper, the little dome. Well, let's show the part of the diagram with the loon in it. And it's got also those same small chunks of circle and the larger chunk of circle. You can see that the loon consists of these two convex curves uh, along with a concave curve, that's your loon. But we know that we can swap, as far as air, without changing area, those two smaller concave bits with the bottom concave bit. They have the same area. But now it's the triangle that's shaded. Yeah, it's the pointy up triangle, but it's going to be the same as the pointy down triangle. Bob is your uncle. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and uh, here's some more delightful content for you. Cheers.